Yeah, just a bit of recovery movement, mate. Obviously, with the uh, the flight, the boys, it's important to get uh, a bit of movement, get the blood flowing again. Um, so we've done a bit of a uh, bit of running, a couple of uh, couple of footy drills, and uh, settle in for the rest of the day. We've obviously got to deal with the disappointment of uh, of the weekend just gone. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll review that and take as much out of it as we can, uh, so that moving forward we uh, we don't have uh, play any more games like that. Um, but yeah, we'll review it with the Sarvo, we've got individual reviews with our line coaches um, and then as you said we move on to next week and start, uh, start changing the focus. Yeah, I think everyone, oh, everyone's got their own individual things they do. Um, last night a lot of the boys headed down to the beach or jumped in a pool. Um, we got back at about 5.30 so most of the boys would have been in the water by 6, 6.30 I'd imagine. Um, just doing their own little recovery and then obviously we've got the ice bars that we we use pretty frequently um, and potentially get back in the heat room uh, this week just to get the legs moving again. Yeah, today's more about getting the touch right and obviously getting the bodies moving. Then we build again. Uh, we'll be back out here tomorrow and then main session on Thursday. So uh, it'll be building up towards main session and obviously main session will be uh, some, some drills that we, uh, we need to work on uh, after the review um, and, and leading into next week. So this is the uh, Woodway Force 3 um, self-motorised treadmill. So um, yeah, as you can see with Nick on it, it's, it's self-driven so you have to drive or provide the force to move the belt. Um, and like, this is really, really good for our speed and acceleration training. Yeah. Obviously our vertical force which is in the, in the belt and then there's horizontal force which is here. So this is a force transducer which, um, which measures the horizontal force as, as Nick or as the athlete pulls on it. So then at the end of the trial we get max horizontal force and average horizontal force and max vertical force and average vertical force as well. So just looking up the screen here, so Nick or the athlete is the green line and the red line is the set protocol. So this has been previously built with the emphasis on speed and acceleration. Yeah, so that really the aim is just to stay, you, you being the green line is to stay with the red line so as it drops down, you drop down and it gives you visual cues on the screen as to what, what to do. But this protocol is really based on speed and acceleration. So it's only it's four minutes in total, but it's really made to blow you up. With the belt, we can measure gait from each foot, so at the end of the trial we can graph it and look at his left and his right foot and see the difference in stride length and step length, um, which is a really good tool for rehab. Through pre-season I've been building my form and my body um, and, and growing from last year just a bit more confident in my own ability and, and my position on the ground so um, it's good to play some consistent footy but um, hopefully it can translate into a few more wins.
you had like uh, certain areas that you wanted to improve, but mainly just all areas, my strength, my kicking, um, my defensive side especially, I really wanted to work on um, building to become a, a complete two-way player, so they're probably the main things. Yeah, seeing how West Coast pressured us um, was really impressive and something that, that I think watching the vision we can strive for, hopefully um, throughout the year, but um, yeah, working on my kicking, especially as an outside mid, is something I pride myself on and hopefully I can keep it up. Uh, I'm still only 19 years old, so um, yeah, still a lot of a lot of room, room for improvement. So um, working with Justin Cordy, he's been he's been terrific this year with everyone. So um, going through the stats of the preseason, we've we've upped all our, our volume by over 100% almost. So um, yeah, huge step up from last preseason. Hopefully, you can build on that. When I got drafted, I was lucky enough to um, be partnered with Bob Murphy, who um, he's a he's a great player at this club and and great person in AFL. So um, it was great to to witness his 250th and enjoy that with him and unfortunately couldn't get the result but um, he's been huge for my, for my um, internship at the start of the, my career but um, yeah if I have a career like him I'd be pretty happy. Yeah first thing was just to, to recover straight after the game obviously um, it's a long flight up to Perth and, and, the, and the conditions are pretty hot so first thing is to, we got another game coming up um, in a week so so I guess that's the best part about footy always get a chance to bounce back so um, yeah recover first and, and go through the tape and and work with your line coaches on, on what areas you need to improve and, and we're pretty confident of bouncing back.